all these information okay the attenuation and the edge frequencies all these all information are given by the user okay and you have to design a filter which best satisfied these requirement that are given by the user okay so let's go again go back to our code okay so now the next line these two lines are just the uh, just for entering the uh, attenuation in stop band and attenuation in the pass band okay and in the next line the user will enter the sampling frequency okay the sampling frequency is also required because uh, this discussion that we are uh, that we are uh, talking about is for digital domain we are talking about digital chebyshev band pass filter so that's why we all know that when we go from an analog to the digital domain the first step is sampling so we have to we have to uh, select the appropriate sampling okay uh, appropriate sampling frequency and sampling frequency is determined by the nyquist theorem or nyquist rate which says that the sampling frequency must be at least twice the maximum frequency component present in the signal okay so now let's understand the meaning of these four lines these four lines normalized all the frequencies that are entered by the user so let's first understand what is the meaning of normalization okay so just a second okay so what we do in normalization in uh, in normalization for example if we if we want to normalize a frequency like 25 hertz okay i want to normalize the frequency of 25 hertz so what i do i divide the 20 25 hertz by the maximum frequency that uh, that is present in the signal okay the maximum frequency that is present in the signal okay so uh, for example uh, if we if we want to design a band pass filter for uh, filtering the human voice we know the human voice range is the the hearing range of human ear is uh, is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz okay so we generally not bothered that what uh, what happens if what happens if a 40 kilohertz signal a 40 kilohertz signal will be there at the uh, filter okay we uh, we generally we, we know that our voice or our uh, the voice signal is no, uh, not go beyond the 30 kilohertz or like the 10 kilohertz so we generally not bothered about uh, not bothered for the signals uh, beyond let's say 40 kilohertz so this 40 kilohertz is our maximum frequency in that case okay so we use 40 kilohertz frequency for normalizing all the frequency in case of designing a filter for human voice okay so just we have to just divide by the maximum frequency that is available for example uh, 1000 hertz is the maximum frequency so just we divide by 1000 okay so when we divide it by 1000 so we will get what we will get what we will get 0.025 okay so this is our normalized frequency this is our normalized frequency for 20 hertz signal so okay since we know from the sampling uh, this from the uh, nyquist rate that the sampling frequency fs is equal to the sampling frequency fs is equal to the twice of maximum frequency fm okay and if we try to calculate the maximum frequency from here what we will get we will get fs by 2 okay so instead of dividing by maximum frequency we will we we can also divide 
by एफ एस बाई टू टू गेट दी नॉर्मलाइज फ्रिक्वेंसी ओके ओके एंड दिस इज वॉट वी हैव डन हेयर इन आवर कोड वी डिवाइड दी फ्रीक्वेंसी ओमेगा पी वन दैट दी यूजर एंटर्ड बाय ओमेगा एस बाय टू ओमेगा एस इज आवर सैम्पलिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी ओके सो ओके सो इन दीज four line we have just normalized all the frequency that user will enter okay so now in this line we use a an inbuilt matlab function which calculate the order of your uh, chebyshev band pass filter by taking by taking some value the first one is omega p1 and omega p2 both omega p1 and omega p2 are what omega p1 is the uh, lower edge frequency for pass band omega p2 is the higher edge frequency for the pass band the other parameter is omega s1 and omega s2 omega s1 is for is for uh, lower edge frequency for stop band and omega s2 for higher edge frequency for stop band okay and rp is the attenuation for pass band and rs is the attenuation for stop band okay and this inbuilt function it will calculate the order depending upon this value that are entered by the user okay and the order is if copy will be copied in the uh, variable and and in this variable omega p the this this vector these this uh, this vector which contains the values of omega p1 and omega p2 will be copied will be copied as it is in this variable omega p1 okay and now this uh, this this code this line of code is for calculating the transfer function or frequency response of the chebyshev band pass filter okay and this Uh, function will calculate the transfer function on the uh, on the basis of the uh, order on the basis of the pass band uh, attenuation on the basis of the pass band edge frequency okay and the numerator coefficient for the transfer function will be copied in numerate uh, num variable and the denominator coefficient of the transfer function will be copied in dnum okay so what are these uh, coefficients of numerator and denominator just look out this simple equation here i have to take a pen okay so as you can see this is a this is a uh, this is an example or a general example of nth order digital filter transfer function as you can see in denominator there are coefficients like b0 b1 and up to bn these are the coefficient for numerator and a1 to am is the coefficient for denominator okay so so uh, all the characterization all the uh, features of filter will be hidden in these coefficient okay so this function will calculate the coefficients of numerator and denominator of the filter transfer function now this in this line string is a variable which store the st string this string the order of your filter is equal to and this function this is for displaying the data that is that is there in string which is nothing but this message the order of your filter is equal to this is equal to num will actually print the value of n which is nothing but the order okay so now the next line is the last line is frequency z function which is also a uh, matlab inbuilt function which is used for plotting the uh, transfer function in z domain okay uh, num is the uh, variable or the vector which contain the coefficients of numerator and dnum is also an array which or the vector which contains the coefficient of denominator okay